YouTube, what is going on? It's Blake here, and I'm a little bit more excited than I usually be for a sneaker video because this is without a doubt going to be the largest pickup of the year for me. This is a, I don't even know how to explain it. This is something I've been looking to purchase for three years, paid off all my student loans last year, paid the car off last year, uh, was looking to purchase a home this year, but they told me I need more uh, payment history, more pay stubs to get pre-approved for the home that I want. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to still move, uh, but it does mean that that goal has just been pushed back a year. So I was like, you know what? Uh, you know, something you don't need to get pre-approved for, especially if you buy it outright, is a watch. Now, a lot of people, a lot of my friends have Rolexes. I personally am a bigger fan of AP. I picked up an AP watch. This is a brand new uh, Royal Oak Offshore Diver. We're gonna do an unboxing and then show you what it looks like on wrist and hopefully share some of the excitement of this awesome pickup with me. So, it comes in this really great, heavy duty green box, which pulls up and inside, there's a couple layers of packaging. Obviously, when you spend this much on a watch, you'd wanna have all the kind of quality and packaging you would expect. Everyone's gonna ask how much I paid. Um, retail for this watch is $19,000. I did not pay $19,000, although I did purchase this brand new. I'll link down below in the description for some ideas of, of authentic retailers that do carry these. Um, you know, eBay is not traditionally a place that you might associate with buying uh, jewelry from but a lot of my friends that buy high-end jewelry um, buy from eBay mainly because there's no tax so you can imagine what you know 19 or eighteen thousand dollars times uh, six percent would look like here in Massachusetts so buying on eBay I circumnavigate tax and that's something to think about even if you're just buying sneakers so inside you have Audemars you have all of their branding on the top of the box and then it clicks in and lifts up and inside you have the watch and this really nice leather bed. So we'll take this out. All right, now what drew me to this watch specifically uh, is a couple different things. So this is technically a diver watch. Now, uh, if you were to actually be a diver, you probably would prefer something like the Sea Dweller for a, uh, a Rolex only because in um, making adjustments mid dive, the way that you do that on an AP is you pull this out and it, it's not very practical underwater. Whereas with, I forget the name of the Rolex where you just twist it. So now for me, I wanna be wearing this every single day. Uh, as someone that's not a huge watch aficionado or, or you know enthusiast, I really am only see myself owning one or two watches and to make a purchase and justify buying something that I'll wear every day. I really wanted to make sure what I got what I wanted. Uh, Boss for one of the companies I consult with has a Royal Oak and Rose Gold, which I really liked with the Rose Gold band. Unfortunately, that's about a forty-five dollars to $50,000 watch, which I just don't have the money for at this time. So maybe my stretch goal once I get a family will be buying that watch. But um, I definitely know I like the Audemars brand. For that reason, I'm gonna be staying with them. Now I opted for the uh, plastic band you got the AP branding here, as opposed to the linked band. Now, the reason why I did that is because that I tried one of these on at Shreve Crump and Low here in Boston. Uh, in the weight, it just was not comfortable uh, as much as the band. And if you're going to wear something every day, again, uh, I bought this for myself, not for other people. So I want to have something that's really comfortable um, for everyday wear. So we'll try to take this off next. Now on the flip side, you can see the movement, which is another cool aspect of this watch is that you can see what's going inside. And I think the guts of a watch are just really something that's fascinating to me. There's a really cool How It's Made episode, uh, not the show that's on Discovery, but a How It Made on YouTube that goes in the process of making Swiss watches and it's just such a meticulous art. And as someone that appreciates craftsmanship, I really, really think this is gonna be something I'm gonna have and enjoy uh, for the rest of my life. Now, for those of you that might be saying, well, how could you ever justify spending this much on a watch? I keep the same outlook that I have on buying a watch as I do buying sneakers, which is uh, this watch, unlike my car, doesn't have a finite lifetime. I'm gonna be able to sell this after I wear it and get most of my money back uh, or not all of it, you know, someone could wear this particular style and demand goes up or, you know, years from now something happens or changes. Um, so I'm not too concerned about having that much money in one particular thing. And like I said, unlike my car or unlike sneakers that I have that are starting to crumble, this watch is gonna be something that I can truly have for life or pass down to someone or pass down to my son. And that kind of nostalgia is something that 
I never had growing up. I didn't have a family that came from money where I got passed down an heirloom from any of my grandparents. And not that they didn't love me or anything like that, but it just wasn't something that was part of, you know, growing up lower middle class or my parents, uh, my grandparents that immigrated here. So I really want to have that kind of legacy for my children and to be able to start it uh, at 22 years old and, and get the things that I've wanted just by really working hard, uh, you know, is not only something that's inspiring to me every day, but I hope it's, you know, something that can be inspiring to you guys too. So I'm going to post a photo of this on IG if you want to check it out. Like I said, if you're looking for jewelry or sneakers, definitely check out eBay before you go anywhere else. A lot of the dealers that have stores, this is from a store in Pennsylvania. I was looking online for it. Turns out they had an eBay store. I circumnavigated the tax I would pay in Massachusetts from that. So really, really smart move if you are looking. I, I saved, I mean, what would tax have been? I saved probably almost $1,000 on tax. Yeah, maybe a little more than $1,000 on tax. So just, just a good deal all around. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll put it on for the end. And uh, yeah, we'll get these tags off. All right, guys, and there it is on wrist with the black band now. Uh, with the right tools or going to a jeweler, I can swap this out for the leather band. There's a lot more options with bands with APs, which is something else I enjoy because I think as my style changes or as I get older, you know, I can change things up with the face. But man, oh man, is that a good looking watch. And most importantly, guys, it's something that I'm happy with. So this is by no means go cop an AP. There's plenty of options uh, with similar faces to the Royal. Oh, that's going to do it for this review of my latest pickup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. T-Blake signing out. Peace, guys.